the workout. We're going through a three minute warm up phase and we're going to our working sets. We're going to work for 15 minutes in total today. This is a manageable workout to get in between your lunch breaks, before you start work, or even after work. So, leg split. What we're going to do is going to push those hips back as far as you can go, keeping the back flat and straighten up. All that's doing is stretching those hamstrings out, stretching that back, and open through. You can cross those arms with the body if you want to. It just keeps that back flat and stretches through that lower back as you move in. From there, you're gonna to start to curl that lower back now and just curl in, hold, and straight back up again. Back in, just curl in that back. Lovely. And straighten that through again. Lovely. Keeping those legs set again. We're gonna take our top as long as we can to the floor. We're gonna to touch and keep touching as far as we can forward in that movement. Again, touch as long as we can through that movement. Lovely. We're gonna to touch, go to the right on that movement. And you're gonna to touch and then go out to the left. You're stretching that back, stretching the back of those legs, and up we come. Okay, legs a bit tighter now. Hands at shoulders, just gonna rotate through that trunk, gonna loosen that lower back out, and then you start turning that foot to rotate that a little bit more. Back to start, just a little turn again at the top of the spine to rotate all the way through that lower back and relax. Okay, shoulders, you gonna take them up to the top. Stretching through the shoulders and back in again. Up to the top, stretching through those shoulders then back in again. One more go. Up to the top and then back in again. Okay. So we're gonna work our workout. We're gonna work for 30 seconds. We'll cue in each exercise. You're gonna go at your own speed, but I'll work alongside you. The first exercise I'm gonna do is squats. So you're gonna line yourself up, feet hips apart, you're gonna sit those hips back, drop into those heels, and sit as low as you can and straighten up. Again, as low as you can with the heels flat to the ground. Let's get ready, we're gonna work 30 seconds of those squats now. Two, one, let's go. Sit into those squats and straighten up. You might be able to go a little bit deeper than that, or maybe you can get to those hip width. Maybe you can't get deeper than that. We take it to that range of motion in those squats. Can you get through, deep, squat out and straighten up? Squat, deep, straighten out, there we go. Lovely ladies and gents, this is looking nice already. Looking nice already, superb. Keep working through your squats now. Keep it tight, in four, in three, in two, in one. Recover, we're going down to the ground now. Hands set for a push up. Two, one. On those knees, you're gonna start with, you're gonna go down to the ground and push all the way out straight. Down to that ground, straight and out all the way in that push up. Try to get all the way through, hands at chest width and pushing out those push ups. Down to the chest and pushing through. Hands are only that shoulder part and pushing out. It doesn't matter that bum's a little bit high in that box position and recover. Okay, find yourselves up. Lateral steps. Step on one leg, step to the next leg. Let's go, step over, step over. Try to get all the weight onto one side of the body and step through that movement. You wanna speed it up? You can start to speed that speed up. If not, step, stop, step, stop. Just moving all that weight from one side of the body into the other. So you're working for 30 seconds and you're resting for five seconds when we have that recovery phase. Lovely, keep moving through. Landing, pushing, and rest. Lovely. Back to those squats again, but 40 seconds now. So we deep through the range, straighten up for 40 seconds. Hope you're feeling good. Okay, let's get ready. In four, three, two, 
One, let's go. Sit into those squats, straighten up. Sit into those squats, straighten up. We're going for 40 seconds now, guys and girls. Again, you go to the range and get two. As long as you get into right angle, knees and hips, that's all we're looking at. Getting through squat range and straighten up. Squat range, straighten up. It doesn't matter what you're doing those hands. You can be in front of the body. It can be set there. You can have it off the top of the shoulders. Called a prisoner squat. As long as you're getting through that squat and straighten up, that body work, that's all we're after. Okay, looking at four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna go now push ups again. 40 seconds. Okay, let's get ready. Two, one, hands shoulder apart, bum down. We're gonna drop and we push out. We're gonna drop, then we push out. We're working for that 40 seconds again, guys and girls. Remember, chest is in line with those hands. All the way through the push ups. You try to go for the whole 40 seconds. And we only have 20 seconds to go on our clock. Deep and push. Deep and push. If you need to rest and just recover, and you can do so. Okay, this is in four. In three, in two, in one, and you're done. Can we stand ourselves up now? Our lateral steps are 40 seconds, our last one. Okay, let's go. Land, land and push over onto each foot now. Remember, you can start to speed that step up, or you can just go step, stop, step, stop. The aim of it is just to get that coordination skills moving. You're landing from one leg to the other leg, so a little bit of power on those legs as well. How are you getting that heart rate to move as you're pushing that body from left to right? The blood are pump that body around the body, into that right side, then into that left side. I just changing over that speed. We've got five seconds, we're gonna rest for a minute. Two, one, okay, I'm rest. Have a little drink now, guys. Okay, first bit of block done. The next bit of block is this, squat switches. We had our squat before, we were squatting. When we come out now, we're gonna cross our feet, back, cross, back. If you can't squat and cross, I just want you to cross, stop, squat, up, squat, stop, and move for that same motion, okay? A little bit of coordination skills going on here. We're doing increased intensity. It's a little bit more cardio based now. In 20 seconds, we're gonna rock and roll. So it's called squat switches, we're in next. Okay, let's get ourselves ready. We even practice this first move before it starts. There's that squat switch, those feet opposite, okay? Let's get ready in five. Four, three, two, one, and go. Squat, out, switch, back. Squat, switch, squat, switch. If you're not going at speed, you go squat, there, step, and across. Okay, let's get it moving. Let's get it moving. Just quick ones now. It's a quick, short set. In three, in two, in one, and recover. Nice, five seconds. We're gonna go power runs. We're gonna run that spot, pumping those arms. Let's go, power runs, 40 seconds. We're gonna get those knees up, we're gonna drive those hands and push through those power runs. We're gonna go 20 seconds, 40 seconds, 20 seconds, 40 seconds. That's our sets we're working on, guys and girls. Big push through, 40 seconds. Keep the power runs going. Keep those knees running up. Keep pumping those arms as you drive through that power run. Don't stop it, don't rest, don't hold back, and don't recover. 10 seconds to go. We rest at this next bit. It's where the heart rate keeps going. The heart rate keeps going. Keep pushing through the power runs. In two, in one, ah, and relax. Next one switches. Feet there, switching the feet. Let's go, switch those feet over. You can move the hands too. Just switch your own feet. It's a short one. 20 seconds. Keep those feet moving now. Keep those feet moving. Pump the arms, you can pump the arms too. That is an alternative version by just driving those hands in. In two, one, rest. Next one is lateral bounds. We're gonna drop and land over from side to side to make it harder. Squat and jump through. Ah, 40 seconds. Lateral bounds. 
just going from side to side in those movements. It's a 40 second one, this one. It's a 40 second there. It's strong. Keep it moving. Halfway. Keep those bands moving, guys and girls. We're not stopping yet. We're not stopping yet. With 10 seconds to go, we're near there. We're near there. In four, in three, in two, in one, and rest. Okay, next one is inside touches. So you're touching inside those heels. Let's go. Inside touches. If you speed up, speed up. You just slow down, just move, slowing down. That's not a problem. There. Nice. Can you start to speed up a little bit more now if you can? Lovely. Two, one, and relax. Woo. Pop jumps. Hands to the floor, hands to the ceiling. Touch, swap, touch, swap, touch, swap, touch. Oh, there you go. There you go. Pop jumps it is. Transfers, hands to ceiling to the floor. Ceiling to the floor. Lovely. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep dropping, keep dropping and touching, keep dropping and touching. Don't want to rest this, guys. It's a 40 second set of this one. Keep it moving. Okay, you're 10 seconds to go. Keep touching, keep touching, keep moving. If you can jump between it and do so. In four, three, two, one, rest. We need air. Drinks break again. We only have two minutes to go. Hopefully in good. This first last one, you're going to work these legs. The first part, his last phase is this. Legs split past wide. Whip and part. Drop, straighten up. Keep working that one side and straighten up. Don't start yet though. 30 seconds. So working that to one side. Then you'll work to the next side. So I'm going to go right side first with my right leg. I'm going to bend my right knee. My left leg is straight. I'm working the bum and the leg on that right side of the body. Okay? Let's get ourselves ready. Four times to go. This is it. Okay, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Drop, straighten up, drop, straighten up. Keep moving that one side. 30 seconds. You're going to feel it all that right side of that lower part of the body. Push. Oh, there we go. Push. <clears throat> Come on. Drive that out. Drop. Drive that out. Oh, there we go. I'm already feeling it in my right side already. Left side might be stretching, but right side is working. All for that leg. And go straight over to the left side in three, in two, in one. Left side go. Boom. Drop. Straighten up. Boom. Straighten up. Oh, there we go. Those hands are just at the side of the body. We're not holding the hips. We're not holding that leg. If you're holding that leg, just come off that leg now. It just takes a little bit of weight off it, which you don't want to do. All the weight is going to that one side of the body. And my hands are not touching at all. Okay, four, three, two, one. Body up straight. Left leg step back. Drop. Back in again. Drop. There, back in again. It's called a reverse lunge now. Step in, nice, drop. Step in, lovely, drop. Step in, oh my legs are getting there now. I don't know what you'll feel like at home, but the upper body is resting, but that lower body is feeling it. In two, in one, and change legs. Oh, there we go, step, drop, in, and back. Drop, step, in. And back, nearly there. 25 seconds. Oh, I'm feeling now. Lovely. Step in. Step in. Ah, oh, we're nearly in. We're nearly in. We've got 10 seconds to go, ladies and gents. Step and push. Step and push. Step and push. In two, one, and relax. Nervous. That's your first workout of the day. Amazing work. 15 minutes in total. And you manage to get your body moving in different movement patterns. The heart rate starts to increase somewhat. You might feel the legs a little bit. 
Might feel the heart rate, might feel your breathing. That's a great sign you start to go. It's just quite fun to push yourself and kind of see the difference as you go as well. Um, I never thought about doing it before, but I'm really, really enjoying it.